Hello and welcome to Last Presenter Standing. Yay! I'm your host Adam Wilborn from What Culture here, joined by well everyone else from What Culture for a game of Last Presenter Standing, the Back to Work edition. We've got them all back to work for this, and the way this game works is very simple. It's a big game of categories, basically. I will give them a category, for example, Tom Cruise films, and they can go around and name Mission Impossible, Mission Impossible Two, Mission Impossible Three, the greatest film franchise of all time, basically. Uh, and we'll go around until we eliminate three people per round, either via wrong answer or simply running out of time. We'll give them about 10 seconds for their answer, and then we will move on to the next round and so on and so forth until we have the last presenter standing. So with that in mind, let's get into it. Let's start with our first round. So our first category, and we'll start on the far left with Adam Cleary, is any actor who appeared in The Office UK, The Office US, Horrible Bosses, or Reservoir Dogs? We will start, as I said, Reservoir Dogs. with Adam Cleary. Uh, Ricky Gervais. Martin Freeman. Steve Buscemi. Rain Wilson. John Krasinski. Quentin Tarantino. <laughs> Stephen Merchant. Steve Carell. James Spader. BJ Novak. Oh, you... <laughs> I, I don't have any. Uh, I think Stephen Baldwin may have been in one of those. Oh! Ah, he rubs it in Get before he joins Miller. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer Aniston. Mackenzie Crook. Good. Jason Sudeikis. Jenna Fisher. Jason Bateman. I don't watch any of these shows. <laughs> <laughs> For the US office, you could have had Ed Helms, Mindy Kaling, Creed Bratton, Ellie Kemper. For the UK office, you could have had Lucy Davis, Sterling Gallagher, Oliver Chris, Elizabeth Barrington. For Horrible Bosses, we had Charlie Day, even Megan Bloody Markle. And finally, for Reservoir Dogs, you could have had Harvey Keitel, Tim Roth, Chris Penn, Lawrence Tierney, and Michael Madsen. So well done to you if you got any of those playing at home. Okay, so we are down to nine presenters standing. We move on to our next category, which is any movie starring Samuel L. Jackson. I will tell you that TV movies do not count. We'll pick up where we left off, and that is with Adam Nicholas. True Romance. Captain America, The Winter Soldier. Shaft. <laughs> Pulp Fiction Jackie Brown The Negotiator Captain Marvel Snakes on a Plane nice. Django Unchained Oh, right before me Um, Britain's gone dry There's so many of them, isn't there? Can't be honest with this. Okay. <laughs> Iron Man 2. The Hitman's Bodyguard. Black Snake Moan. <laughs> Avengers Assemble. Avengers Infinity War. Avengers Age of Ultron. Ooh. Avengers Endgame? <laughs> oh. yeah. Spiral. Ooh. The Hitman's Bodyguard's Wife? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Hateful Eight. Inglorious Bastards. Oh. <laughs> the 51st State. Oh. Captain America Civil War. Oh. 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 oh! The drama oh. on that! 
One more elimination left. Star Wars Revenge of the Sith. Star Wars <laughs> the Return of the Jedi. <laughs> oh, 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 Amy. Well, there was well over a hundred to choose from here that the presenters missed. There's Jurassic Park, Kiss of Death, Deep Blue Sea, The Incredibles, my favourite, Coming to America, Iron Man and the other guys to name but a few. All fantastic answers. And fingers crossed you managed to get some of them at home. So six down, five to go until we find our last presenter standing. We move on to the next category. And guys, I want you to name me one of the 25 highest grossing movies of all time worldwide. This is according to Box Office Mojo. We will pick up where we left off with Tilly. Avatar. Titanic. Avengers Endgame. Star Wars The Force Awakens. Avengers Infinity War. Star Wars The Phantom Menace. Oh! oh Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2. Yeah. Oh! My mind's gone blank, I forgot what we've already had. Um, Can repeat answers, <clears throat> that's not going to eliminate you. Um, the Fast and the Furious. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh! What? Oh! I'm taking a shot at the live action Lion King. Oh! Um, this is another shot. The Dark Knight. There was plenty of films that the presenters could have chosen here, like Jurassic World, The Avengers, Fast and Furious 7, sorry Josh Brown, Black Panther, both the Frozen films, and everyone's favourite, Minions. Hope you managed to get a few playing along at home. So we are down to our final three presenters standing. Two more eliminations, and we will have the last presenter standing. The final category whoo, is any... Star Wars or Star Trek movie. I'm gonna need the full title from you and we'll pick up at the beginning with Adam Cleary. Star Trek, the motion picture. Rogue One, a Star Wars story. Solo, a Star Wars story. Uh, Star Wars episode one, The Phantom Menace. Star Trek Into Darkness. Star Trek Beyond. Star Wars A New Hope. I need the number. Star Wars Episode 4 A New Hope. Is that, is that actually there the full title? I don't think they had the numbers in those. Star Wars Episode 5 The Empire Strikes Back. Star Wars Episode 2 Attack of the Clones. Star Wars Episode 6 Return of the Jedi. Uh, Star Wars Episode 9. Have we had that? The Last Jedi? Oh, oh I'm sorry, Tilly. Oh. Star Wars Episode 9, Rise of Skywalker. Star Trek 2, The Wrath of Khan. Um, the animated Star Wars, The Clone Wars movie. Oh, okay. Uh... Star Trek 2009. Star Trek 4. The Voyage Home. Oh. Star Trek 3. The Search for Spock. <laughs> the Star Trek 5. A New Discovery. Who 
would have thought that Trek culture's very own Adam Cleary would have taken that one home, eh? Well, you could, of course, have had Star Wars Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith, Episode 7, The Force Awakens, Episode 8, The Last Jedi. Uh, for Star Trek, you could have had Star Trek 5, The Final Frontier, 6, The Undiscovered Country, Generations, First Contact, Insurrection, and Nemesis, of course. All of them shown here, basically. Well done if you've got any of these playing along at home. Adam Cleary is your last presenter standing. Congratulations. And if you are a fan of Star Trek, make sure you subscribe to Trek Culture, where Adam Cleary does a whole load more on Star Trek things, so I'm told. Uh, right, so let us know your thoughts and how you got on in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And congratulations once more to our last presenter standing, Adam Cleary. We're doing a whole host of these on the various other channels, so make sure you go and check that out. But for now, thanks for watching, and we will see you soon.